Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Computer Science and Engineering Workshop. This is your host, Dekka Arman, speaking. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at what pointers are, and then we're going to be looking at uh, how to implement and use them, uh, mainly in C programming language. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. Okay, so a pointer um, is essentially a type of variable that we use to store a memory address. Say for an example, let's say that we create a variable called x. Let's say that it's an integer uh, and it's, it equals to 7. So when we declare a pointer that points to the address of x, what's going to happen is that um, the address of x uh, will be stored on that x pointer rather than the 7 value which is stored in that x variable. So without further delay, let's see how we use them. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I just want to include stdo for our input output. And then I'm just going to declare the entry point of my program. And then I'm just going to declare a variable called x and set it to 7. So I'm just going to print this x here, percent d, x. Now, as we all know, what's going to happen is this is just going to print out 7, but uh, I forgot a colon here, so it wouldn't have printed it out. So as you can see, it just prints out 7 here. Nothing unexpected. Now let's see what's going to happen when we try to create a pointer to it. Let's... Um, assign the address of x using the address of pointer. I mean, operator, not pointer. This is the address of operator. So now let's print out the x pointer. Since we forgot the asterisks here, uh, the star sign, whatever you want to call it, it's not going to print out the value of x. Instead, it's going to print out the value of this pointer, as I've told, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, inside of that pointer, we just store an address, which is a numeric value, and it prints us out this value. If we want to print out the value of the x variable we created, what we should do is we should use the operator, this operator here. There we go. Okay, now what I want to do, no, I don't want to save the output. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to create a variable called y. And then I'm just going to create a, a y pointer here. And then I'm going to assign it the address of y. And next, I just want to say printf here, just to um, have it done. Yeah. y pointer. Let's not forget the asterisks here. And let's not forget the colon here. Uh, what? Why is it giving me an error? It has the type of int because we forgot this here. Actually, I'm just going to fix the indentation here real quick. Okay, now let's try to use these variables. So let's create a function called swap. It's going to take an integer x variable and then it's going to take an integer y variable. We're going to have an integer called temp to store the x while we, um, to be able to assign the value of x after we um, assign the value of y to our x. So I'm just going to store the value of x in our temp, and I'm just going to store the value of y, and the last one I'm just going to say y equals temp, and then this should, uh, in theory at least, uh, be able to swap the values of these two numbers, numbers but what's going to happen Actually, let me just um, delete these two so you can understand it better. What's, but what do you think will happen here? Is it going to swap them or not? Well, you see, the thing is, since we're not receiving anything from the uh, function there, uh, what's going to happen is that it will not be swapping them. I'm just going to add a new line here so we can actually see it better. As you can see, these are the original values of x and y, but what if, let's say we used pointers instead. Since we use um, an address instead of, uh, you know, just variables, since we just uh, pass an address instead of a variable, what's going to happen 
is that we will be uh, making changes in the address we pass to the function. Now let's try to call it. I'm just going to say x pointer. I'm just going to say my pointer. Actually, let me just show you this while we're at it. Instead of uh, declaring pointers, which you can do, at least in this case, you can just pass the address directly to it. And then uh, now let's see if it's going to swap them or not. Why is it not running? Um, it gives us a, an access violation. That's odd. Mm. Mm, that's odd. Let me just try it with this. I probably did something wrong here. Uh. Okay, now it should no longer give an access violation here. But why did it give an error in there? Uh, nope. But why is it giving me an error? Mm. This is just a pointer to the address of it. Uh, and then, oh, I see, I see. Okay, so it already expects a pointer type variable. So the uh, star sign there just is a is an extra. That's a mistake on my behalf. So uh, yeah, if we pass it like this, it should just work fine. So anyway, that was pointers. Uh, if you guys found the video uh, helpful or educational or enjoyable in any means, uh, please make sure to like and subscribe and uh, have a nice day.